Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode, day 14 of my Let's Clash series. So before we go ahead to watch some of the upgrades that I'd like to show you guys, let's take a look at this attack. This guy is attacking my base using some barbarians and archers. And the way he deploys, you can see he is like deploying it in a, a circular spiral manner, just surrounding my whole base with archers and eventually just uh, scoring him uh, 3 stars. So I managed to steal all my loot, but not to worry, although he stole all the loot, 31,000 gold and 79,000 elixir, I managed to find this base which contain over 300,000 gold and over 270,000 elixir. So definitely going ahead to attack it. As you can see, the gold mines and also the gold storages, they are pretty full. So it's like, I think it's uh, like a 50-50 inside both of them. So I decided to focus my troops first onto the gold mines and then eventually uh, some of them onto the gold storages. Eventually dropping my clan castle on the bottom over there to try to take out the gold storage because I wanted to get that gold storage that was behind the wall. So with a clan castle, full of level 6 wizards they just took out the uh, storage in just a matter of few shots and then just carrying on the attack so um don't think i could get a 50 percent for this uh, attack as uh, i didn't clear some of the barracks on the left side and also the army camp on the top right uh, they didn't get cleared out so 46 percent so going back to my base and this is how i train my troops i only have two barracks available right now uh, one of the barracks is being upgraded so one barrack will be training barbarians the other one will be training uh, archers so in the end, going ahead to do another research, researching my lightning spell to level 2. So uh, eventually when I use a Goey White, I'll be able to use a level 2 or in fact even stronger lightning spell. Because uh, that's important to take out some of the troops from the clan castle, the opponent's clan castle. If it contains like witches uh, and even uh, like archers, you have to use a lightning spell to take them or Otherwise your troops will get distracted. So this kind of strategies next time I'll show you guys when I am uh, have my troops available such as the golem, wizards, witch and also maybe the Pekka. Once I've gotten them to rather high level and then when I play clan war with this account, I'll be able to show you guys and explain to you guys in detail how to use uh, lower level troops and also lower level spells to try to attack uh, maybe uh, Town Hall 9, in fact uh, maybe a low Town Hall 10 too. So yeah. Definitely I have to go ahead to get my heroes. So my heroes are very essential for using a Goey White. If you plan to play a Goey White, it's definitely needed to use a heroes. If you want to play air such as a mass dragon, this and that, to try the two stars in clan war, that's fine. Um, but however, I do not like to play a mass dragons. I don't really like to play air to be honest. However, um, I know a lot of you guys will be saying that I play um, Lava Lumians onto my main account, which is true because uh, that's a strategy that is very safe to use, especially in high champions league, whereby you definitely have to get a minimum one star. Otherwise, if you lose the attack, you will lose a lot of trophies. That's why I tried to use a uh, Lalumians, which is a very safe strategy to use. So now going ahead to get more national flags, trying to prepare for my Town Hall 7. So stocking up the gold as usual, and then eventually manage to get all the national flags ready for my next level. And then now going ahead to do an attack on this Town Hall 7. Over 284,000 gold available. So I was focusing on the gold, not too much concern about the elixir itself. However, I decided to steal a bit of elixir since the elixir collectors look pretty full. So just deploying my troops in the same usual fashion. However, I did not uh, remember that I had so few uh, housing spaces, like 135 housing spaces. So in the end, once I dropped all my troops really quickly, I ran out of troops. So I kind of uh, forgot that fact. I'm still very used to the 240 housing spaces on my main account. So um, I couldn't uh, win this raid because of the housing spaces that wasn't enough for me. But not to worry, I'll definitely upgrade the housing spaces by upgrading the army camp so that I get more troops. So that's something that I focus on whenever I upgrade to a new town hall level. I'll try to focus on those offensive buildings such as the army camp, barracks and also the research lab which will increase my attack. So that's the stuff that I focus on rather than those defenses which technically speaking and honestly speaking I don't really need. So yeah, going ahead for this uh, attack, stealing all the loot on the outside, the top left, the gold mines has already been taken out. On the right side, the gold elixir collectors are being taken out right now and then eventually just clearing more of the structures on the bottom. This town hall now is definitely going to be one start because I have uh, wizards prepared in my clan castle as a lot of the buildings are exposed. So just going ahead to take out a lot of the structures on the bottom, eventually getting me the one star and then just winning the battle. So back to my base. So as you can see, another of my building just uh, completed. The army camp just uh, completed and eventually I decided to uh, just upgrade my barrack to level 6. As I didn't need to farm for my walls anymore as they are maxed for the current town hall level that I'm at, which is town hall 6. So this is a strategy that I use whereby if I do not need to farm 
a lot for the resources then I'll just upgrade my barracks especially in this particular case itself whereby I'm just waiting for the town hall to be upgraded to town hall 7 so in the end I just uh, wait it out and then I just use the builders to upgrade the barracks so why I upgrade the barracks is so that I don't have to upgrade next time when I reach to town hall 7 and eventually when I need to uh, train my troops fast enough to do some farming I won't be able to use the barracks so now is the time that I'm actually able to sacrifice the training speed of my barracks so that I do not waste the training speed next time so yeah as mentioned my defenses are pretty weak right now but not to worry whenever i just go for an attack i will be able to get back all the loot so yeah that's it for this particular episode that i'd like to update you guys hopefully i'll be able to update you guys in the future episodes because uh, this episode is just a uh, pretty short nothing really much to show you guys so with that said i'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on